Lucky Boys Podcast. Was there animosity between the Chinese that were already here and versus the, the immigrants that uh, Yuli came? Absolutely. Uh, uh, I mean, the ones that are already here have done their best to assimilate. Uh, they spoke English. They dress the dress uh, similar yeah. to Western. Yeah, uh, the immigrants, of course, were f- foreigners. Still, I mean, you, you were the same race, but one group was still considered these strange, un-American foreigners. You're saying like the the ones that were here properly assimilated felt perhaps the immigrants coming here set them a couple of steps back. Yeah, I don't know if it's that specific. Because I know a few, I know yeah. a few modern day right. Asians, and we had one uh, Kenny on a podcast, and he he had that's his theory as well, where um, immigrants come here and they kind of uh, you know they don't follow follow the social norms, and because of that, Americans who aren't Asians will look at them like they're completely opposite of what we do. And it'll set, and, and they'll look at every Asian person in the same bucket. You know, they, they, a lot of the times, I don't know if it's lazy thinking or just perhaps they don't know any Asians, they'll, they won't be able to differentiate the two. They'll just look at it like the exact same thing. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about race. Uh, you, you, you look at somebody's skin color first and, 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 and somehow their culture and, and whether they even speak the language. And uh, this um, current state of uh, affairs uh, with this anti-Asian hate, be- uh, f- for many reasons, ha- has never gone away. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll ask this question in a different way. How many Chinese or Asians out there have never experienced racial dis- uh, discrimination? Raise your hand. I doubt if anybody will raise their hand. Has never, yeah. Yeah. And that just shows you how chronic it is and that's what scares me our youth coming into this world our children our grandkids having faced what we know that path that's carved out they're right behind us about to follow these footsteps it draws concern for me and also motivates me to create a a space where they don't have to grow up with that anymore i agree with you um i think somehow um we're all very tribal at heart because it's just a, a natural uh, human nature response. Uh, we, we want to be with people we feel comfortable with. We want to be with, uh, to get, uh, with people that we eat the same food. I mean, it's, it's a natural thing. But at the same time, I think culture and uh, race and society is always evolving. Mm-hmm. And this country is a very special country. Um, it, it started... from immigration right uh, america is an experiment and yeah. it's a continuing experiment right and sometimes uh the experiment fails and sometimes it succeeds and we're trying to make it succeed but we always have to evolve and change uh, our tactics to conform to what's going on um in the world because we're always again it's all perception we're all perceived as a certain way and that affects how we're treated. When, when we look at it so close up, it may look terrible, but when we zoom out and just look at the entire picture, the arc of justice always seems to bend towards the right way. I agree with that. And there's something else I want to add to it. it, it it's not just what you read in newspapers. I, I think um, I, I go back to what I'm saying about perception. I think we can help with art by art i mean totally agree i mean cinema literature mm. music that has evolved on, on the past couple of several decades into something good and positive because i think again perception if we accept a story uh, that we see in the movies because we all go to the movies that helps break down barriers. I think uh, so many of the themes uh, that are in, whether it's literature or the movies, point out that 
that they're, they're reflections of what we are. And I think um, if you think about it, uh, and what you're saying about the arc of uh, justice always bends towards a certain way, I think that when we put it out there in an honest, truthful form, I think people will see that we have more similarities than we have differences. Mm -hmm.